Welcome. Welcome back if you've joined us before. What have we here on the table? We have whiskey. And no weapons. That's right, we're whiskey and weapons, guys. Back with another review. An interesting. I like who you see. Interesting. Little whiskey we've got here today. Tam Nivolen, double cask. Yeah, I believe this is um, owned by White and McKay now, isn't it? Mm. The majority of their stuff goes into blended whiskey, or has done in the past. So should we set the bar low? We shouldn't set the bar at all. We shouldn't, we shall remain impartial. Nicely said, nicely said. This is one of the first releases from this particular distillery since 1990. Nice. So this is matured mainly in ex-bourbon casks from America. Um, mm. And then I believe it's finished for a very short duration in ex-sherry casks. But that's, the time is its sort of undetermined. Okay. A quick shake in a sherry cask, eh? A wee dribble. <laughs> so what, what have we got? Firstly, we'd like to say that this is not naturally coloured. So we're going to skim over that. Yeah. Colours are peeling, but... What's that, A150? Definitely. It looks like a solid bottle of A150 to me. It does. But you know what? Somebody once said to me, there is no such thing as a bad whiskey. There are only whiskies and better whiskies. Nicely said. I don't know how true that is. Nicely said. Down while I'm looking at you right now. Yeah. Let, let's, <laughs> let's hope Tan the Bullen. Isn't following in the down shoes. <laughs> Let's see what happens there. I would be interested, funny enough, to try a different down but but mm. I'm just not keen on forking out. I'd like to have a tester, you know. Yeah, get a small one. Uh, glass. Oh, please. you're so kind. Oh, he's not shy with this measure. If that was the yard bag, it would have barely got a drip <laughs> in the bottom. Well, I knew the yard bag was going to be drank. <laughs> Interesting on the nose. Okay. You, look at you jumping to nose. I'm this is going to be a short well, we're review. Sk we're skipping over the old coloration, aren't we? Because we know that that's caramel A150. Yeah, it would have been nice to say what it was like before. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a light whiskey. Yeah, look at that Kilcommon that we tried. I know. Kilcommon. Really light, but amazing. I mean, it won a, a, an award this last year, anyway. Yeah, we said in our review that it was 2016, but it is actually 2017. I've seen that since, yes. <sighs> Man, I can't believe we got that wrong. How can you have a whiskey of the year at the start of the year? Well, because they do a tester of a group of whiskeys right at the very beginning of the year for the 2017 releases, what they have at the moment. And that's how they determine it. They just have a panel of people. They all taste them and they put their topics forward. I think they have to keep the bottle in under 60 quid, I believe. That's what the price range is for the whiskey exchange. Mm. We'll see. See, I knew we should have done a whiskey of the year, 2017. That's my fault. Sorry, guys. <laughs> right. So, we shall hold this under the bar. Oh. Let's have a smell. Do you know what? I think the nose on this is quite pleasant. Quite. I find it's got a little bit of a soapy note there. A bit yeah. sweet with almonds and... We are being impartial, aren't we? We are, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I'm, I'm, it's not even necessarily a bad note. Uh, I mean, the ad bag's got that... What's the word? The note, do you remember from the... Um, carbolic? The pint, that's the one, the carbolic note. Mm -hmm. That's what the difference is. Mmm. Okay, tell me what you're getting. Okay. So, honey and almonds right at the very beginning. Yeah, almonds kind of marzipan. Yeah. There's a mm -hmm. little bit of a malty note there, as you'd expect from a malt whiskey. Almost like a rich tea biscuit. Mmm. I'm getting, you know that, that creaminess? Yeah, but other than that, I'm getting like red apples. That's different. Very different. Well, this is bottled at 40%, so I don't suppose you'd need to put water in it, but no, it might, no. might be worth a try. I mean... Going back to what you said, milk chocolate? I, yeah, a little bit, yeah. But it's a little bit nutty though, isn't it? A little bit. Do you know what? There's a lot of flavours coming out here. There is, it's surprising actually. I think it's probably got a bad rep um, because of what it was used for, predominantly blends, but... Mm. But apparently bad. the distillery is sitting on quite a lot of uh, aged whiskey, so they could be rounding this off with um, a really well-aged whiskey. Well, it's got that sickly sweet note you'd expect from like a sherry cask, but it's, it doesn't last a long time like it's been in the sherry cask a long time, like say it's been a no. short period of time, so... Slightly leathery. 
It's a little bit, yeah. Quite gentle, really. It is very soft, isn't it? You, you imagine this is going to be quite an easy drinker. Yeah. Do you know what? This reminds me of the... Um, just the, the kind of fruitiness and the lightness and the sweetness of the um, Japanese whiskies we've had lately. I understand what you're saying, yeah. See where you go with that one. Mm. Let's have a taste then. Okay. Leave it no further. Impartial. Light. Very smooth. Almost, you'd expect, oh, uh, you'd almost think that that had a little bit of water in it, wouldn't you? It's that silky smoothness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is almondy. Mm. Isn't it? Kind of a caramel sauce with like a citrus zest. Mm. I actually quite like this. That's actually quite mellow. It's quite nice, yeah. How much would you pay for a bottle of that? Me? Mm. I don't know. What's it going to be worth? 30? 32 quid? 34 quid? Something like that. 22 pounds! I believe it's even cheaper, isn't it? Morrison's 20 pounds, apparently. That's not bad for 20 quid. You're talking the same territory as Bell's and that man. Mm. It's, it's not bad. You know I mean, what? What, would you, what would you rather have? Bell's or this? Yeah, exactly. This isn't overly complicated, don't get me wrong. It's got that woody bitterness it's a little bit fruity kind of stewed fruits yeah like almost got like a crystallized orange taste mm. a little bit apricotty if that's such a yeah word, if there's such a word yeah that's that's the flavor i'm trying to pick out there apricot i could taste it and i'm going down the yeah. orange you know mm. and i'm getting it but it hasn't got that mm -hmm. it hasn't got that zing what you get from an orange mm. so you had this yesterday and I was getting a little bit of a, a bitterness off the back of it, but mm. at the moment it's going down quite nicely. Well, it's a little bit peppery on the back end. Is that mm. not what you think? Perhaps because I mean you're tasting like a sweetness, toffee, caramels, figs, apricots. Maybe that finish is just a little bit of bitterness. <sighs> That's not bad actually. For me personally, the finish is like a long, sweet caramelized almond. Yeah. Brilliant. That's not bad at all, that. It's quite surprising. For 20 quid, I would drink that all day for fun. No higher prayers. <laughs> Could be had. Oh, there you go. You can't, I mean, like you say, you cannot turn your nose up at it. And I must admit, we came in with a, a few preconceived ideas, didn't we, from what we'd heard? We did, we did. But I mean, if you saw this in the aisle, as did I, the brand and everything, it drew me to it. I was like, ooh, what's that? New, interesting. Let me have a look. Yeah. Oh, well. Worth a go. Mm. Definitely worth a punt, guys. I mean, it's cracking. It's like it's... you say, there are no bad whiskies. No. And do you know what's nice? It, I'm just reading the box here, and, and this is what it promises. On the nose, rich, warm aromas of apple, toffee, honey with sweet marzipan, and subtle, tangy marmalade notes. Oh, the, and the orange, there you go, and apricot. It's not far from that, actually. I was going to say, it does what it says on the tin. Yeah. It's sweet. It's fruity palate, it's nutty, it's lovely. Mallow notes of pear, creamy peaches, you mentioned something along the similar lines, pineapple, and a hint of de de demerara sugar. Yeah, that'll be the sweetness. Almost like a caramelised sweetness, mm. you know. Not mm. bad at all. Quite impressed with that. For 20 quid, I wouldn't feel hurt if I bought a bottle and came back with that. No, no. Be interesting to see what they come out with next. Oh, well. I hear they're sitting on some uh, high reserves of aged stock at the moment. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if they can break the uh, the perception what they have at the moment. Let's see what Tamna Volan's got next, huh? Indeed. Well, that's been another successful review. We're still here. If you liked the review, thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment and don't forget to check us out on social media. We are on Instagram at, and we're on Twitter. Was uh, Twitter at Whiskey and Weapons? Mm -hmm. Instagram, Whiskey and Weapons. Leave a comment on there. You'll see upcoming reviews. Reviews we've already done. Some smashing images. Oh, there's some cracking pictures going up in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Got them all planned out, man. Mm. There's lots more to come. Keep watching for more. Cheers, guys. Bye.